All right. Hey, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekach, Wadash. A double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful to let I get out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. Doing the work is Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai has created us to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line goes back to you being the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, one of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. And Shalom. It's your brothers from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah with another video. And this time we want to tackle the topic of... Uh, this whole decision that has been made with this uh, Roe versus Wade and the uh, response of a lot of these females to that because at the end of the day what's being put on display is the wickedness of a woman the complete unaccountability of the modern woman especially here in the land of America you have a lot of women who are in the uproar of uh uh, 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 because at the end of the day, let's just keep it. Let's just keep it one hundred. They want to continue to be in the spirit of sluts. They want to continue to be unaccountable. They want to continue to be out here having unprotected sex and not having to deal with the consequences of it. So now, so now they're riding and uproaring because they can't continue on in their wickedness, and, and it's all through the spirit of power. You how about me? I was shot because at the end of the day. Once again, the, the modern day American Babylonian woman is unaccountable, unresponsible, childish, immature, whatever you want to call it. Point blank, period. And if the shoe fits, wear it. If this doesn't apply to you, we're not talking to you. But if you're feeling some type of way about what I'm saying thus far, this is for you. You see, with your raggedy ass. Because this is madness, man. You are in the streets losing your damn minds because you can you can uh, can no longer commit child sacrifice. Because that's exactly what it is. Murder. You see? Because you want to continue to be a fucking reckless, uh, unresponsible creature. So we're going to start in uh, Sirach chapter 25 verse 19. All right. We have the book of Ecclesiasticus or Sirach chapter 25 and verse 19. It says... All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. And that's exactly what we're witnessing, man. All these women who have talking about this, the, 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 my body, my choice, all this outcry because you can't continue on in your madness. That's why I say it's what? There's little wickedness compared to the wickedness of a woman, man. This whole decision just shows you how wicked the American, the, the, the majority of these American women are, man. Completely wicked. They can sit down and open their lips to any random dude, let them spray up in them, get pregnant. But they they they, they want the trust to be able to go in and, and abort that fetus, man. This is what they want to do. This is what they're mad about. You see, that's wickedness, man. Wickedness, murder. They're committing. And they're feeling some type of way because they can't continue on in it. This is why when the judgment from Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah is fully poured out, a lot of you women are going to be taken in it, man. We don't say these things just to be saying these things. Your, your actions show you, show us why the Most High is going to destroy you, you see, the way he is. Because a lot of you women are wicked and there is no return for you. There is no healing you. You have to be eradicated from the earth, man. You are worthless, useless. You see? This is the type of shit that has polluted your mind and have you walking in the spirit because what? You've been cultivated in the way of Esau, in the way of wickedness, man. You're not supposed to be this way. You women are complete. Fucking demons, monsters, man. 
up under Esau. Because he's giving you nothing but liberty. Liberty to live in your wickedness, man. And be proud about it. To be proud in being a slut. To be proud in being unaccountable, unresponsible. Childish and immature. Esau is giving you this fucking liberty, man. Something you're not supposed to have. You see? And look at you. You're gone, man. So you or not? Uh, this is uh, Sirach chapter 26, verse 8 in the reeds. A drunken woman and a gatherer abroad causeth great anger, and she will not cover her own shame. And this is what has happened here in the land of America. Esau is giving you women the liberty to gather abroad and do whatever you feel like doing. And it's done nothing but pollute and distort your minds, man. To where you think that it's right to be out here fucking protesting and chatting to commit murder against a life that's growing inside of you. This is my body, my choice. Don't slut shame. So forth and so on, man. Madness. You women in America, you, you women who are in that, let me say it like this. You women who are in that Babylonian spirit, you are embarrassing, man. You are an embarrassment to our nation. Talking about the nation of Israel, you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American women. Fuck what these heathen are doing. We talking about you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American women. If you're in that spirit of my body, my choice, and I got the right to kill this, whatever, whatever spirit you, hey, look, man, you are an embarrassment to the nation of Israel, man. And there is no room for you here. And this is why the Most High is going to get rid of you. Go ahead, bro. Verse 9. The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. You see? All this fucking makeup you're wearing. These fake eyelashes. All this bullshit, man. That lets us know that you're a slut. You see? Like Dave Chappelle said. You might not be a slut, but you wear, you, you're in the slut's uniform. You're carrying and portraying yourself as a slut. So that's why we treat you that way. You see? You got it, bro. Uh, keep going on. Mm -hmm. Yep. Verse 10. If thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straight. Straightly. Straightly. If your daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly. You're supposed to keep your daughter and your woman on a short lease. Because if you don't, you have what you have in America. Women walking around with three, four, five different baby daddies, man. Women out here getting all type of sexual transmitted diseases because what? They're, they're uh, unaccountable And they letting everybody they come across Hit raw This is why you keep her in straightly You see This is why you are so strict with your daughters man Because if you're not You see She'll end up on the pole Or out here in the fucking corner Walking the strip man It's why you're supposed to bring down A uh, great discipline upon your daughter you got it, bro. Uh, going just going into not having uh, uh, no embarrassment. You know they're not embarrassed of their actions. Mm -hmm. uh, lest she abuse herself through overmuch liberty. And this is what's happening in America, man. Abusing yourself through overmuch liberty. Liberty. You've been given too much liberty by the so-called white man. This is why you out here getting abortions left and right, man. All women, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American women is leading the league in abortions, man. You see? When you go look at the statistics of women having abortions, who are at the top of the list? The so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American women. And that's because what? She's been given too much liberty by the so-called white man. You see? You got it. What's the living? What's going on? Mm -hmm. Verse 11. Watch over an imputed eye and marvel not if she trespass against thee. God. She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he hath found a fountain mm -hmm. and drink of every water near her. Putting every pipe in her mouth, you see? Taking upon every doctrine that comes her way. Go ahead. By every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow. This is what happens to you so-called modern women. You see? That's been given all this liberty. 
This is why you got 50 bodies. That's why you got a 50 body count, 100 body count, 200. You just slept with 200, 250 men, 1,000 men. By the time you come out of high school. You see? Because of what? You've been given too much liberty. And that's what the scriptures tell us. The scriptures tell us that these women, especially in the land of America, are nothing but sluts, man. You see? And you want somebody to put you up on the pedestal as if you're special. You're not special. You women are complete sluts, trash, tramps, harlots, man, whores. And you're feeling some type of way about this uh, 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 Roe versus Wade being overturned because you want to continue to, uh, to walk in that slut spirit, man. And that's not how you're supposed to be. Opening up your quiver, which is your box, to every arrow, which, is, uh, which are these men's rods that pass you by. And wonder why your box uh, uh, smelling the way it's smelling, man. Want to talk about your fucking pH balance? No, it ain't your fucking pH balance. It's because you're letting every nigga you come across pipe you, man. That's what it is. Trying out here trying to carry yourself as a man. Like you can do whatever we do. No, you can't do that. This is why your box smells like trash, man. Dumps the juice. You see? Because of the way you're carrying yourself, man. And you, you've been put in that spirit by these wicked ass fucking Edomites, man. Somebody grab Amos 7 and 16, Baba Kishaw. Then somebody get Isaiah 32 and 9. Uh, 7 and 16. Here we have the book of Amos chapter 7 and verse 16 And now therefore mm -hmm. Hear thou the word of the Lord Yahweh By Hashem Yahweh Shai Thou sayest prophesy not against Israel And drop not thy word against the house of Isaac Keep going Thanks a lot, Therefore thus saith the Lord Yahweh By Hashem Yahweh Shai Thy wife shall be an harlot in the city You see that? Our wives are harlots in the city Talking about the women of Israel man You're harlots in the cities man All this shit hot girls some of this And all this bullshit, man. City girls, this. Harlots in the cities, man. They're thinking that shit is cool. You see? The Lord told us you would be like this. This is a part of our curse. Go ahead, bro. And thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword. Mm -hmm. And thy land shall be divided by line. And thou shalt die in a polluted land And Israel shall surely go into captivity Forth of his land and, and here we are in the land of America And scattered all throughout the earth And our wives are harlots in the cities man Carrying themselves as complete sluts Something that you're not supposed to be doing You're supposed to be carrying yourself as a princess man You see But you want to be in that Meg the Stallion spirit, that City Girl spirit, that Amber Rose spirit, that Kim Kardashian spirit, man. Thinking that shit is cute. You see? Trying to take on the masculine frame as if you as if you're a man. Trying to trying to carry yourself like us. You can't, you, you, you're not us, man. And that's why a lot of you women are fucked up in the head because you're getting too you you're getting attached too many to too, too many spirits. You're supposed to be a one man and one man only, man. Point blank period. You can't do what we do. We've been given the privilege to have multiple wives. Not you women. You not you haven't been given that privilege to have multiple husbands. That's a privilege that only the Israelite man has. You see? And that's something you got to suck suck up and deal with, man. You see that? Isaiah 32 and 9. 32 and 9. Mm -hmm. What you have? Get Ezekiel 9 and 1. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 32, verse 9, and it reads, Rise up, rise up. Ye women that are at ease, hear my voice, ye careless daughters. And this is what we're telling you, man. Rise up, you women who are at ease, especially here in the land of America, uh, following after Esau's spirit. You careless daughters. You daughters of Israel, you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans women. You see? I hear uh, fucking marching for some Roe versus Wade bullshit because you want to continue to kill, uh, commit child sacrifice and get, uh, get abortions. Rise up, man. Go ahead, bro. Give ear unto my speech. Uh -huh. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless woman. For the vintage shall fail, and the gathering shall not come. Uh -huh. 
Tremble ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you, make you bare, and girt sackcloth upon your loins. Because what? We're coming into a time of mourning, and great judgment is about to be poured out upon the house of Israel, especially you wicked ass women, man. We're coming into it, and, and that roar is away, man, overturned is what? Is, is the most high taking these privileges that Esau is giving you away. And you're going to see more and more of these privileges taken away from you, man. Judgment is going to come upon you women heavily in these times we're entering into. Because you're completely out of order, man. To the point where you got so-called Hebrew Israelite women who are fighting against what the most high said a woman is supposed to be. So a great humbling is coming, man. A great time of mourning for you women is coming. Coming. All this being put up on the pedestal and being worshipped, all that shit is being taken away from you from you by your howl by Shimmy Howard Shy, man. No, oh, keep going. Is that what teats? Teats. teats? Mm -hmm. Okay, kind. Verse 12, they shall lament for the teats and Salaka, they shall lament for the teats, for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. Because what? You're gonna wish that it was going back to what it was 10, 20, 30 years ago. Nah, it's over. All this liberty that you've been given is about to be taken away from you. Point blank, period. And it's already beginning. You see, you women are about to be humble beyond all belief, man. You're about to feel it. And a lot of you are already feeling it. You had a couple months ago, maybe last year, this bitch was complaining because she couldn't even afford to buy cheeses no more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? $4. Yes, sir, $4 for a box of cheeses. It's about to get even worse for you bitches, man. And hey, don't hey, if you feel some type of way about me, about me calling you a bitch. What does the scripture say about that? A shameless woman should be counted as what? A as a as a as a uh, as a dog, man. What's a female dog? A bitch. Point blank. Period. And that's what a lot of you women are. Shameless fucking women. You see, and, and, and your actions prove it. You see. But well, we moving on. Isaiah nine and one. Baba Kishaw. Got it. Isaiah, were you holding? Go ahead, go ahead. Isaiah chapter nine verse one. Nevertheless, to them. Oh, my bad. Ezekiel nine and one. My bad. That's on me. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you got go it. Ahead. You got uh, it. Yeah. Book of Ezekiel chapter nine and verse one. Isaiah thirteen. He cried also in my ears with a loud voice, saying, "Cause them that have charge over the city to draw near, even every man with his destroying weapon in his hand." Mm -hmm. And behold, six men came from the way of the higher gate, which lieth toward the north, and every man a slaughter weapon in his hand. A slaughter weapon in his hand. What do you do with a slaughter weapon? You kill with it. Uh -huh. And one man among them was clothed with linen, with a rider's ink horn by his side. And they went in and stood beside the brazen altar. Gone. And the glory of the Most High of Slaki, and the glory of the power of Israel was gone up from the cherub, whereupon he was, to the threshold of the house. And he called to the man clothed with linen, which had the writer's inkhorn by his side, and the Lord Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And that goes into what? The men of the Lord being out here crying out against all this madness that's going on in the earth. That, that, that mark is what? A mark of exemption from judgment because of all the pollution that's going on in the earth, man. Speaking out against it, speaking the words of Yahweh by Shemi, Yahweh shine all truth and sincerity. Lord willing, we continue on in the spirit. We're going to be exempt from judgment, Lord willing. You see? You got it? All right. And to the others, he said in my hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Uh -huh. Who are you going to smite? Slay utterly old and young, both maids. With your women. And little children. And who? And women. Uh-huh. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. So a lot of judgment is coming upon you women, man, for all your madness. If you are walking, if you're still, when all hell breaking loose, and you're still in that spirit of being a Babylonian, strong, independent, boss-ass bitch, you don't need no man. If you're still in that spirit while all hell is breaking loose, the Most High is going to have these deaf angels touch you, man. Point blank, period. Old and young women. The most I don't give a fuck how pretty you are, how many followers you got on Instagram, ain't none of that shit gonna matter once the time of judgment uh, is poured out. You see? You are going to be touched beyond all belief, man. Once again, there's a great humbling coming for you women. 
Thus said ye how about Shimi how shah? Give verse seven as well, bro. And he said unto them, Defile the house and fill the courts with the slain. Go ye forth. And they went forth and slew in the city. Hey, and that's what's coming. And that's what's coming, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh about Shimi how shah, that's what's about to be unleashed, especially upon you wicked, disobedient, and rebellious ass women. Guys, at 13, bro. Hey, hold on, can I, can I get it? Go ahead. All right. Verse 80 says, And it came to pass while they were slaying them, and I was left, that I fell upon my face and cried and said, Ah, Lord Power, wilt thou destroy all the residue of Israel in thy pouring out of thy fury upon Jerusalem? And the answer to that is no. He gonna reserve the elect. And that and the elect includes women as well. Those women who are gonna get right and get in that spirit of what? Being subservient and obedient to the will of Yahweh by Shemia Shah, and that means coming up under what? Coming up under the order of the man that the most I puts them with. You see? Not being in that fucking Babylonian modern day woman spirit, man. You got it, bro. The Isaiah 13 verse oh, it's lock it. No, it's on you. Yeah, man. Oh, my God. Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 13, verse 1. Uh -huh. The birdie in the Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos. No, 16. 16. Isaiah 16. 13 and 16. Okay. It's Isaiah 13 and verse 16. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Mm -hmm. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravaged. And this is what's coming to the land of America, man. You see great judgment and your wives being ravaged, meaning what? Wives being raped. These are the times we're coming into. All you women that's walking around with your ass all out. These fucking tight fitted, whatever, these tights. Your, your camel toe showing, ass cheeks all out. You women who are walking around in that, that slutty, harlot type spirit, you're going to have adultery, committing adultery. All you women who are walking in that spirit, you are going to have a bad time out here in the, in the earth once judgment is being poured out, man. The Most High is not fucking around. You, hey, you're about to experience some really, really horrible things in the earth. You see, since you want to walk in the spirit of disobedience, this is what the Most High is pouring out, man. And, hey, and you ain't going to get no fucking sympathy for us. We ain't finna save you. We not finna get in the way of the Most High's judgment being poured out. We walk, we come across you getting, you getting done in by eighteen dudes. That's what. That's your judgment. We are gonna walk the fuck off. Since you want, you want to walk in that spirit of being a harlot. Hey, the Most High gonna treat you just. Uh, the Most High gonna treat you as such, man. This is what's coming. This is what's coming, man. So get that last one. We'll wrap it up on this one. All right, the book of Micah, chapter 7, and verse 10. Mm -hmm. Then she that is my enemy shall see it, yep. and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord Yahweh thy power? For all you bitches who've been talking shit against the men of the Lord, we, we, we know you on the videos talking shit when we bring out videos like this. We know you're talking shit. We know you behind the scenes talking shit, but guess what? When that time, time of judgment come, you're going to feel it. And what does it say, bro? Mine eyes shall behold her. Uh huh. Now she shall be trodden down as the mire of the street. And that's exactly what's coming to you women, man. You're going to be trodden down in the street, slain with the sword. And the judgment that Yahweh Ba Shemi Yahweh Shah is about to pull upon this place, man. You see? It's coming. And it must come because we see how you bitches are moving in the earth, man. All in the uproar because you can't uh, commit a. Uh, 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 Child sacrificing abortion no more, man. Really out here crying tears. They taking our freedoms away. Wicked as hell. Now we see why the Most High is going to judge you, bitch, the way he's going to judge you. And we don't feel no type of way about it. Hey, be gone with you hoes, man. Straight up. So all of you women who listen, who claim you believe in this, hey, you better get in the right fucking spirit. You better get in the right fucking spirit because the Most High is going to put your ass to death in a grievous way, man. Point blank, period. Hey, so with that, we're going to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopefully that I came out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. Doing the work as your how about Shimmy how shots uh, created us to do. With that, we're gonna say shalom, shalom. wa, a ba, 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 ba.